So none of those lots have permits? Neither of those two, yeah. Okay, and she's saying that it's allowed. If, if you, if it's in the works, I, can you explain the process to me, how you get a permit? Yeah, basically, the most common way is if something's falling. So I'm deaf on this here. The most common is if, someone, if something's falling on something. Uh, for construction projects, they usually have to have a building permit in process, but since neither yeah. of these lots have an address, they're probably, I would doubt either of them have a permit. So what can we do to escalate this? Because I have video of this man, and there's more video of him removing the Joshua trees that um, was taken earlier. And uh, what can we do? Because they say they're relocating. I walked the property, which I am trespassing. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, there was no plants that were relocated as they claim. They don't have a tree spade. They're not doing this legally. What can we do so to Jared, stop David Webb from doing this? Jared, this is what can be done. The uh, code enforcement officer has been instructed to go out and take photos, find out how many trees were removed, and it will go to town council, and town council will determine whether or not they want to take him to court. Okay, well, I have a question, because just a moment ago you said that um, he has paperwork in process, and if something's in that's process... What told. Uh, that's what I was told. That's what I assumed. Let's put it that oh, way. you assumed it. Okay, never yeah. mind. Okay. That's all I'm saying is okay. because there's a lot of paperwork in here for him. Okay, he's but he's illegally... He but does. he is... Can I, can I give my video and the photos to be proof? No, because th there's no way for us to go to court and say... You would have to... If, if town council wants those, and, or the attorney wants them, then they would get a hold of you. Okay, can I leave my, well, I doubt that would matter. Um, so Jared, what what would be the next step then? You, you guys are actually uh, gonna- They've already gone out, it sounds like. They did? Okay. Um, they're now gone on the property. Do you know when they were there? Uh, no, they just went out after you called. Okay, you called yeah, the guy was gone, yeah. And when I called you, I was like already. If everything's gone, then there's not going to be anything. For us well, there's actually. If your code enforcement guy goes and walks. Go on the property. You have to be able to basically see it from the street. Yeah. Yeah, because we are not allowed on private property. Yeah, there, I mean, we're, our hands are tied, unfortunately. Well, what about if somebody, you know, can you? Those of us that video, can we somehow like leave our information so we can? Be proof. This this has to stop. Um, well, it's going to stop as soon as the state does their thing. It's not going to stop when the state does. That's why it's happening right now. All these builders know that the state's coming down to try and stop it, so they're trying to get their projects through before it comes down, so it doesn't bankrupt. That's what they're doing. Yeah, that's basically. That's basically. He's that's breaking the law. Well, I mean, he's breaking your guys' law. Well, it's the, they are protected trees. But technically, all he has to do, even if it's already gone, he just has to come get a permit after the fact. But you can't dig a plant up. The native plant, you have to go uh, through a process. And why is this person allowed to do this? I'm familiar with it. Joshua trees. I'm familiar with, with right. the, the petition. Yeah, so you guys can't do anything because your hands are tied. We can't contribute as being people that were witnesses to it. I have, how about if I have a picture of all the Joshua trees in his trunk of his, his, uh, his U-Haul? But where did they come from? Right there. How do you know that? Because the guy told me we just hauled those all out. I have it on video. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Everything is going to be, do you understand? When you go into court, everything is hearsay unless... The code enforcement officer heard it, or somebody's there to testify. I could testify. Okay, but and who said that? That, uh, that David Webb and his crew, his okay. two employees, there were three people on there. Right. David Webb, they called him. He came hauling ass back to where I was at videoing, was very confrontational with me, almost hit me with his stupid little truck thing. Um, and I, I took video of Joshua trees that were not relocated, Joshua trees that were recently cut down. So I will be a witness, and I want to be a witness. And there's also video from somebody watch, taking pictures of him and videoing him removing the Joshua trees. Okay. We are okay. residents. We can our, do that. The thing is, is that like, even like with code compliance, we can't take anybody else's photos. Because we can't go into court and say, under penalty and perjury, we know that this is that. So what you need to do is hold on to that. Okay. If and when it comes down to it, we can take your name on it. And um, if the 
town council wants to get a hold of you, they'll get a hold of you. Or if the attorney wants to get a hold of you, they'll get a hold of you. This is your guys's. <laughs> hey, this is, wow, can I leave my number for you, Jared? Right. This is out. This is at the town council level, really, most of it. This is frustrating. Yeah. We hear you. You might. <laughs> <laughs>